Hey guys and welcome to the summit. I'm back at the summit with another update video and guess what guys? It's time to embrace the cage. Yep, it's an insert of cage video and guys I got a huge update for you a whole bunch of cage movies I gotta show you and let's just jump into it. The first one I got for you the Sorcerer's Apprentice on Blu-ray starring Jay Baruchel and Nicolas Cage. Uh, I actually got this believe it or not used at FYE for eight dollars with a uh, beautiful beautiful slip cover and uh, the same thing on the inside. And, uh, just, a you know, it's a solid Disney movie, and this would be, I believe, the third time Nicolas Cage has worked with Disney because of the two, uh, National Treasure movies. Um, it's a solid movie, and I really enjoyed it. Alright, guys, check it out. Dying of the Light. This is written by the, uh, the writer of Taxi Driver, so I really can't wait to check this out. And, uh, Nicolas Cage with gray hair. And this is actually a really beautiful slipcover. Uh, I got this at Best Buy. And on the back, you know, we get Nicholas Cage. Looks like he's in some pretty good shape there for being a three-year-old. And uh, Cage there with a suit on the front. And I uh, can't wait to check it out. All right, guys, I told you. Not every single Nicholas Cage movie I pick up is going to be good. I got Season of the Witch starring Nicholas Cage and Ron Perlman. I really like these kind of movies. Like, I just told you I just picked up uh, Black Death. I really like those fantasy-type movies. And this whole movie is about him and Ron Perlman uh, escorting this witch. And my mom says she liked it. I don't know. She she likes uh, movies just about as much as I do. Sometimes she likes the movies that I think are kind of eh. So who knows? Uh, I don't know. I might like it. Not a lot of people like this movie. So I feel like I want to give it a chance. It, again, comes with a beautiful slip. Same thing on the inside. It also has an alternate ending. Never foreseen. So I got to check that out. The Runner. Another movie. Another brand new movie by Nicolas Cage. Power... Con always comes at a price. Uh, I believe this is another political thriller movie with Nicolas Cage. Can't wait to check it out. Uh, it looks, you know, it looks pretty good. I watched the trailer for it. It's one of his newest movies. I think this is his newest movie other than Play Pay the Ghost, which I can't wait to get. Unfortunately, it doesn't come out on Blu-ray until next month. A Halloween title doesn't come out until next month, so I don't... But it's got, again, another beautiful slip and the same thing on the inside. Can't wait to check it out. The Runner. Frozen Ground. Starred Nicolas Cage and John Cusack, along with a uh, really good performance by Vanessa Hudgens. I have seen this movie before, and it is really good. It is a uh, a retelling of a true story uh, based in Alaska about Alaska's most prolific serial killer, played by uh, John Cusack. Can't wait to check it out on Blu-ray. I have seen it on Netflix, and I really love the movie, so I can't wait to check it out. It's a really underrated Nicolas Cage film, recent Nicolas Cage film, and if you like movies about serial killers and trying to track them down, definitely check this out. Alright guys, I finally got one of them. National Treasure 2, Book of Secrets. I still have yet to find National Treasure anywhere on Blu-ray, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to get it online. I think I've seen National Treasure 2 maybe one time. I've seen the first one multiple times. I do remember liking this movie, so I can't wait to check it out on Blu-ray. Alright guys, I finally got it. The crown jewel of my Nicolas Cage collection. The thing that I needed to have to have a Nicolas Cage collection. I just, I feel like I'm worthless without having it. Leaving Las fucking Vegas on Blu-ray. The Oscar goes to Nicolas Cage. I just, I saw this at FYE one day and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, mine. And I walked out with it, didn't pay for it. No, I actually did pay for it. I wanted to walk out without paying for it, but I definitely, definitely, definitely picked it up. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but Elizabeth Shue was also nominated for Best Actress in one. That's just incredible in my opinion, and I cannot wait to check this out on Blu-ray. I've been waiting a long time to watch it. Leaving Las Vegas on Blu-ray. I finally have it. The cage is smiling down upon me today. And I can finally add all these cage movies to my collection up here. Because I've been waiting so long to make this video. I have a very unhealthy obsession with Nicolas Cage. I really do. I just want to own all of his movies. <laughs> Alright guys, so I guess that's it for my Nicolas Cage update. And I'm not done. I still have about... I believe about 15 more I have to pick up, so once I get those, I'm going to do another massive Nicolas Cage collection video, and then I'll probably do a full Nicolas Cage collection video, or I don't know, I might do another full collection with the rest of the collection as well, and just end off this Nicolas Cage uh, collection as a trilogy of videos, and then make a playlist, so you guys can just watch all of my In Search of Cage videos. I, I hope you like these Nicolas Cage videos. Let me know down in the comments. I know he's not one. He's not P. 
people's favorite actor, but he is my favorite actor of all time, and I just personally like making his, making these videos about him. So, if you like it, let me know down in the comments. If you don't like it, let me know down in the comments. Hit dislike, I don't care. That means you're still watching my videos, guys. Again, let me know what you think of Nicolas Cage down in the comments. Let me know what you think of these pickups. Let me know if you guys have any Nicolas Cage movies on Blu-ray that you know I don't have that I might want, because... Hey, I'm cool with buying things from you guys as well. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, because you know I have them. Give this video a like, give it a share, and most importantly, this has been Zack vs. the Blu-ray Mountain. Stay metal, my friends. And the Oscars awarded to Nicolas Cage. Yeah!